Ikhwani, I want to take you on a journey of ma'rifa. Ma'rifa nuraniya. See, everything in this deen is based on ma'rifa. You find that Amir al Mu'minin says, Awwalud deen ma'rifatuh. The first thing in religion, the basis of religion is the ma'rifah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And you find that this is a general qaida, rule of thumb. Ihna in our communities, for our children, for our madaris, for ourselves. When we want to embark upon the journey of spirituality, where is the starting point? If we understand the words of Amirul Mu'mineen, he says, din ma'rifatu, yani the first thing in religion, the basics of religion, the basis of religion is ma'rifah of Allah. Ma'rifah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has to do with usulul din, aqaid. That's why you find ma'arif Allah, the issues that are taught in ilmul kalam, tawheed, adala, nabuwa, imama. And the ma'ad. The fifth one is ma'ad. Ma'ad meaning afterlife. Yawmul qiyama, when we say that the five aspects of usuluddin, tawheed, adalat, nabuwat, imamat, and qayama, when we outline the fifth usuluddin is qayama, it may not technically be accurate because qayama or yawmul qiyama is a part of the afterlife. Ma'ad is afterlife that encompasses everything. Yani it encompasses alam al-barzakh. It encompasses alam al-raj'ah. It encompasses yawm al in the mahshar and its 50,000 years. And it also encompasses Jannah and Jahannam. Ahna in our madhab, followers of Ahlul Bayt. We believe in all these five aspects. So together they come all together collectively as Ma'ad. For you find Amir al muminin says that the beginning point of religion is ma'arif. You need to do with aqaid. Aqaid is known as usuluddin. Asil, yani the roots of religion. The foundation of religion. Whereas on the other hand, the fiqh is an expression of furuuddin. Yani the branches. When you have a tree, the strength of the branches is based on the strength of the root. If the root is healthy, if the root is well grounded, the entire tree flourishes. Now we take lessons from this. When we want to embark on the journey of spirituality, when we want to introduce deen to our children, when we want to make our children, our youth and ourselves more religious, then the starting point is usulud deen and not furud deen. <coughs> You take a child right now and you force him into learning all the ahkam of furuuddin. He may not necessarily pray and be compliant towards prayers so long as he doesn't know what tawheed is. If he doesn't understand the concept of tawheed, but shunu is salat. He's praying to who? He's praying for what? He may not be compliant in his salat. Which is why when you turn your back from your child, the first minute they get or the first chance they get that they will not pray or they will not fast. Why? Because that understanding of Tawheed, that understanding of Usuluddin is weak. The optimal or the prime situation is what? That the beginning point of religion for the children is Usuluddin. If they understand Tawheed from a very young age, by the time they reach Buluh, they are compliant with their Salat and they are compliant with their Som. Not because it is forced on them by their parents, because they do it with their heart, they love, they have understood. They are now, their are furuuddin, they are praying and their practicing of the religion is based on ma'rifah. <coughs> on the other hand, you find that throughout history, emphasis on furuuddin without emphasis on usuluddin leads to nifaq. Now, we have a big uh, research in regards to this and a network of ahadith. That show us one of the alamat, inshallah, if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us tawfiq, one of the lectures that we have is the signs of a, alamat of a munafiq. 
because this issue of nifaq was touched upon very sharply by saying that in Isa'il Alameen in her khutbah fadakiyah in Masjid al-Nabawi and it is important that we contemplate on the words of Sayyidat in Isa'il Alameen. For you find that one of the traits of nifaq is over importance on furuuddin or using furuuddin as a shield to cover up defects in usuluddin. You find the uh, bahath very, very interesting how the Aimma have taught us how to recognize things like these, make sure we are safe from their fitna, make sure we ourselves don't have those characteristics. But all these, inshallah, with the tawfiq of Allah in the nights to come. But the starting point, as we said, usuluddin, ma'rifah. And within this ma'rifah of tawheed is ma'rifah of nabuwa and ma'rifah of imama. And then there is this one personality, Sayyidat Nisa'il Alameen who connects the institution of Nabuwa with the institution of Imamah.